There's this, the new geothermal, not your grandma's geothermal. So this is um, enhanced geothermal systems. And what EGS does is it will take advantage of places where the hot rock is closer to the surface, but that hot rock doesn't have to have fluid in it. The way it works is instead of just, you know, dropping down a well and collecting the steam that comes up, you drop down a well and then you force in fluid and it makes the rock fracture or crack and then the fluid for is forced through and then there's another well where the fluid comes up and it's been heated in the rock that it's passed through and then it comes up as steam. So you're basically taking advantage of hot rock but you don't have to have it with fluid in it, you put the fluid in yourself. Oil and gas, they've done very well in the last few years, right? They've had some crazy profits. They have big capital that they can, you know, that they can use. Secondly, the enhanced geothermal systems, it involves drilling, fracturing rock, and doing stuff in the subsurface, you know, underground. And they are the masters. I mean, they know that better than anyone else, oil and gas. Geothermal is constant. It's on all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, doesn't care about the weather. It's what's called a clean source of baseload power. And it can fill in the gaps on the grid that we now have to fill with fossil fuel.